friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Candy, and today we are gonna talk about something fun. It's Valentine's Day, and we're gonna talk about my love for vintage dishes. And I'm gonna share some of my vintage dishes I have, why I have them, how come I've collected them, and all that fun stuff. So let's get started. I love vintage dishes, you guys. How did I get into vintage dishes? I don't know. <laughs> it's been a thing with my family. My mom's always had vintage dishes she's used forever. Vintage dishes were just normal and everyday staple in our house growing up. And as I've gotten older, I've bought new dishes. I've bought things that, you know, were on trend and all that. And I've come back to always wanting the vintage dishes. And slowly but surely, I've switched my kitchen out to be like a good, I'd say 80% vintage items. Now vintage items has a broad, you know, category about how old they have to be to be vintage, but none, uh, most of my dishes are like about 20 years old or older. <laughs> and I'm finding that I prefer older dishes than newer dishes. Now, yes, there is sometimes you have to worry about how old, older dishes were made versus newer dishes, but you wanna just do some research before you buy certain ones. And that's, you know, the best thing you can do. So let's talk about what I have. I'm not showing absolutely every item, but I will show you what I have and talk about a little about what I do, how much I have. So first set is our everyday dishes. These are by Corel. I believe they're called the Symphony Collection. So I have the sandwich size plates, I have the big plates, um, I have cups and saucers, I think it's so cute. I grew up using Corel dishes, that's just what we've always had. I love them, I feel like they they last without breaking. There's just something about them. Now I, I have more than this, you guys, I have little bowls, I have serving bowls, I have platters, I have pitchers, I have, I think it's supposed to be a sugar container, but I store my pepper in it. I have salt and pepper shakers. You guys see me use all the time. We have the gravy boat. I have a ton of these dishes all around my kitchen. I found a set of them for 40 bucks. And you guys, it was a ton of dishes for 40 bucks. It was a blessing. I love them because Corel dishes are fairly inexpensive. You can find them at a thrift stores a lot of the time. And I want to say for transitioning my kids into using breakables versus just like the plastic kids plates. And as much as I love stainless items, stainless dishes are just don't do it for me. I need something a little prettier. So we invested in this set. My kids drink milk out of cups like these. I like that they have handles. It just really teaches them to be careful with um, their, their foods and just be gentle. Um, so these are our daily dishes. They are more of like a cream instead of a pure white, but I love them because they're dishwasher safe, microwave safe. You don't have to be incredibly gentle with them. Um, they, they will break. I will not, they, they do break, but you don't have to be so coddly with them. And that's why I love them. They're durable and we will use them forever. Now, another dish that I have that is probably my greatest thrift store find are these Fire King dishes. Now, I saw a set like this somewhere once upon a time. You guys, I can't even remember where, but I fell in love with it. For one, it's milk glass. I have a thing for milk glass. I think it's so pretty. I know it comes from my mom because my mom has a ton of milk glass. She's collected over the years that she's gotten from her grandma. And it's just something I find classic. Now these Fire King dishes aren't like pristine, but what I love about them is they are rimmed with silver and not gold. And they are so simple. So let me show you. Here's like the salad plate and the dinner plate. They are just plain plates. No fancy grooves or nothing. You can really see it in there. But they're just rimmed with the silver. And I think they are gorgeous. So I have plates. I have the cups and saucers. Which, I mean, half the time I feel like 
<laughs> are half pointless sometimes. I have these little bowls. I have some other bowls. I have platters. I have serving bowls to go with them. I found a huge set of this for like $45 at Goodwill. I love it because it's classic. It, you can use it for all occasions, all the time. And if you don't know about Anchor Hawking, Fire King, um, the differences between Corel, Corningware, Pyrex, it's, it's something to dive into and learn about. Now, um, Fire King was only made for a certain amount of time and it'll say it here on the bottom. It's by Anchor Hawking. There is something about Anchor Hawking dishes, particularly their old ones, I have a deep love for. And uh, you'll notice as I share here a bunch, I have quite a few different, very, very plain um, Fire King milk glass dishes. It's just something that holds my heart so dear. So I have these and let me put them away so we can talk about some more. Next dish set I am slowly collecting over the years. This is going to be one I want to piece together. I have some of the common items, but I want to get like the, there's a pitcher and cookie jars and all sorts of fun things like that I want to collect. And that is this collection by Anchor Hawking. I believe it's called the Sandwich Collection. It's this beautiful, beautiful green emerald dishes. It's so different than all the other dishes I'm going to show you guys. But I have a thing for green and I love it. Let me come, let me show you this up close. So you can see this beautiful floral and boss work on it. And the same goes through these little serving cups, the, the little bowls. I mean, just look at the work of this glass detail. How gorgeous is this? Dishes are from kind of the Depression era, uh, I don't want to state Depression era style, but um, after the Depression, there were the Depression glass that came out. And this is part of it. I believe it spanned from the late 30s to into the 50s. And my guess is these are closer from the 50s, but there is something about them. So I have the little serving bowl, little... I guess like custard bowls and coasters or little tiny plates you can have. And then I have the bigger cup and the smaller cup. The style is called sandwich something. I, I'll put it on the screen here for you guys, but it's kind of more of like a, a lunch dish set. And I think they are just gorgeous. There's something about this green. So I'm working on collecting more from them. I just I love how tiny it is by Anchor Hawking and I just, you guys, there's something about Anchor Hawking that does it for me. Now let's talk more about Anchor Hawking Fire King. Fire King is an Anchor Hawking brand and I have, you guys, more dishes by them. I love them. So I have this smaller mixing bowl. It's very simple. It only has a couple grooves here at the top. I have a bigger one. I believe there's one in between, but you guys, I'm slowly looking for them. These two bowls I use like daily, weekly. They sit right here up on my shelf and I use them all the dang time. I love them because they are just so simple and they're white. So I feel like they just don't pull your eye in any way in the kitchen. You don't even notice them. Now, another thing I've collected through Fire King are these casserole dishes. So I have four different sizes. I love these blue flowers on them. What I want to start collecting next for them are the lids. I just need to remember to write down what size lids I need next time I go antique shopping. So there's something about these casserole dishes I love. They're very similar to like the Corningware dishes that um, for baking, but they are Fire King. Now Corel, not Corel, Corningware does have a simple blue flower dish set. There's a tons of them. It's my mom, what my mom has tons of. So I grew up with it, but I love these ones. These are more of a royal blue than a cornflower blue and they are gorgeous. And it's just on one side. The other side is clear, but I have four different sizes going down. But my favorite is this teeny tiny little one. And it has a lid for like leftovers. It's just so cute. So I have these and I use them for all different things. You guys, I use them for, I bake in them. 
I even have the bread pan that matches this. I, I bake in them. I store food in them. I will use them as serving bowls. I will use them as mixing bowls. The big one I like for making like French toast and stuff because you can lay a, it's just like a flat wider bowl you can get, you can get your hands in. So there are these, I love them you guys. Can I tell you how much I love them anymore? And then my latest, greatest collection. These I picked up for my birthday. I figured, you know, turning 32 was a time to get uh, some of your dream Pyrex. Why not? You know, I have tons of old Anchor Hawking, Fire King, Corel. I have some Corningware, but I don't have a lot of old Pyrex. Pyrex isn't something I automatically gravitate to. I feel like a lot of people gravitate to Pyrex more than they do other collections. A lot of the Pyrex I do have is fairly new casseroles and um, like I have some plain glass right here. Mixing bowls, they're great. I love them. They're durable. I use them all the dang time. But I found this bowl a few months ago. It's the Homestead Collection by Pyrex. I believe it's from like the 70s and I love it. It's a light brown with speckled flecks, but there's blue. And my kitchen, I have a lot of blue accents in my dishes, but I have creams, I have browns, I have whites. And when I found this, it's like everything in my kitchen all together. So the inside you have this beautiful milk glass and you have the print here on it. Well, last week when I went out antique shopping for my birthday, some kid free time, I found the two bowls I needed for this collection. Now, if you do look on the bottom of Pyrex bowls, they are numbered. This one is 402, I have 403 and 404. I believe there is a 401, so I'm going to be looking for that one as well. But to find three of the nesting bowls, I was stoked. So in one shop at this antique store, I found the two bowls I needed for this set. And then they had the matching Cinderella bowls. Now the Cinderella bowls are so cool by Pyrex because they have kind of like a handle on one side and a pour spout. Both sides can be used as a pour spout. So it's nice that you kind of have a handle pour spout. And there are four sizes to these. One of them is dirty in my sink. I mean, I, I use all my vintage dishes. I'm not, they don't just sit on my shelf, you guys. So I love them. There are four sizes here. So now you're gonna probably be thinking, girlfriend, you have a lot of mixing bowls. Yes, I do. I have one, two, three, four, four sets of mixing bowls, all glass. The majority of them are vintage. I, I have a thing for these vintage dishes, you guys. And I, I really believe in using my vintage dishes. I do have two sets of dishes that I, I do not use. One is from my husband's grandma. She gave it to us right after we got married. And since she's passed away, I just don't want to use them. They are a starburst, a uh, clear crystal starburst um, glass set. And I, I love them. They're a little more of a, I guess you could say it's a, a more of a common set to find, but it has such sentimental value that I don't want to use it. And I also have my great grandma's china that my great grandpa gave to me before he passed away. It is boxed up. It is in like a Fort Knox padding because I am so scared to pull it out to use it. It's actually stored at my parents' house because with us being a military family, we are not done moving. We are not in our forever home. So once that, um, once we are in our forever home, it will, it will come to me. But until then, I just enjoy using my vintage dishes. Now I know some people are scared to use the vintage dishes, like I said, but just do your research. Do what you are comfortable with. And I feel like that's where people get hung up. Do what you're comfortable with. I don't put a lot of mine through the dishwasher. My Corel Everyday Set does go through the dishwasher. And my I put my plain uh, white Fire King bowls through the dishwasher. But items like this with the painted Pyrex design on the outside, you don't want to do, you don't want to put them in the dishwasher. You want to hand wash these dishes. Um, a good, like, mm, I'd say 75% of the time, I don't even use my dishwasher. I wash everything by hands anyways. So using old dishes like this don't, isn't something that bothers me putting them through, like not using the dishwasher. There you go. There's just a peek at some of my 
my favorite dishes right now my vintage collection i you guys i have a thing for old kitchen items we could like make this a series i could show you my old kitchen utensils and <laughs> talk about some of my older cast iron and all sorts of old things i personally enjoy having around there's a story about them and growing up i spent so much time with my great grandpa and it just some of the things he instilled in me about appreciating what is passed on to you what's been used i mean i don't know who had these in their kitchen before but they are a great story and i just love having them around and i really really appreciate them so thank you guys for joining me this valentine's day to talk about some fun kitchen things and have a good day if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and stick around for our next one bye guys